Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be doing a review of a module called Booking by Engage. So th this module will allow you to do uh, a, few, a few things like schedule meetings, schedule re uh, resources in general. It could be, uh, it could be used for uh, scheduling a medical appointment, a dentist appointment, maybe a boardroom appointment. You have, there there are many, I don't know, different boardrooms and each boardroom can use one of those, one of one, of, one instance of this module to schedule its use. So it's a very simple, very straightforward to use module. And what I did here was I downloaded the third day's trial. I have installed already in my test website and I'm going to log in, create a page, put it there, and let's explore it a little bit, how, how it works, how we can perform, uh, use the basic features of this module. So let's just log in here to the backend. And I'm gonna log in as, as admin level, not really super user, but just admin level. Okay, so this is a DNN 601 and I have installed the module already. So the module is right here. No need to go through the installation, very straightforward installation. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna create a new page. I'm gonna add a new page. I'm going to call it booking. As soon as it shows up. And it will be added to the very end of the menu. It will be displayed, it will be included in the menu. So let's click add page. So we have the new page here. It's visible to admin only. Let me go back there just to set this up. I forget to uncheck that, to actually to check that all users should be able to see the module. Now I'm just gonna delete the HTML module and I'm going to add the booking module. By the way, modules in general from Engage, they are very simple, very straightforward to use. They have a very clean and nice interface. And this module is no different from the other ones. So uh, if I select here all categories, I should be able to see that, that module right here. So it's called Engage Booking. I'm just gonna call Booking at the top, the title. I'm just gonna add to the page. And let's start exploring. Okay, so booking right here. So when you add to the page as, as you are logged in as admin, you're gonna you're gonna see a few options at the top. You're gonna see the home of the module. You can add an appointment, you can manage uh, the information that was uh, uploaded. You can manage appointment types, you can change settings. Let's explore a little bit of each one of those options. So for instance, if we click on add appointment, we're gonna be able to select what type of point, appointment is that one. There are some pre-populated uh, appointment types here. If you want to manage that, and actually let's, let's make some changes here. Let's remove those types and let's make this focused on, let's say, uh, a dentist type of, uh, type of scheduling. So if we go here under manage, manage account, manage appointment types, you can very easily delete everything that is there. So again, we're gonna adjust to our needs here. Just gonna leave other. So I just left other and I'm gonna add two, actually three new types of uh, appointments. Just gonna create one called checkup. Let me see, create, click create. Let's add another one called cleaning. Create again. And let's, let's create a third one called extraction. So again, just to exemplify in a dentist type of scenario. So if we click on add appointment, now I should be able to see those options. Yeah. Oh, 
other is the first one so we have there are the types here as well we can add a title to to the appointment details let's say that we want a, a checkup simple checkup we can put some additional descriptions special considerations again this is all additional information that the end user can scan add now i'm logging as admin here so i'm i'm adding this appointment as admin but there is also you you can also do that as a regular user but let's just finish filling this up full name full number i'm just going to type in anything here email address this is important because once admin confirms that this this appointment uh is confirmed then the owner of this email will get an email saying that the site owner has confirmed your appointment so phone date of the appointment and start you can again leave that as is or you can change quickly here the date the time you can see all the time slots let's say if you select four it will bring it automatically four to four thirty this is configurable as well and i'm just time zone as well i think it's taking the default time zone of the system and once this is all done i can just save and if i click home i should be able to see that in the calendar now nice nice point here i have created the appointment now i have to the appointment is, li is listed under the pending appointments now i can just click accept so the appointment will now show up in my calendar i have three different ways of viewing the calendar so there is a daily view weekly view and monthly view so by going to the monthly view i can see that on the 26th there is a there is an appointment there i can see the details i can click and view the details okay so again this is a view this is an admin view now let's have a look at this from an end user point of view i'm just gonna open it and explore it this is the end of part one of the bulk module video review